Uh, welcome into this Photoshop in 30 Seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. I'm Nathaniel Dodson, and these Photoshop in 30 Seconds tutorials, they're usually a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but we have fun with them all the same. Today we're going to take a look at not the type tool, but the type mask tool. There's a vertical version, there's a horizontal uh, version. They both work the same, except one obviously writes type, you know, straight up and down instead of across. We're going to work with horizontal type mask, and here's what we're going to do. We're just going to, well, first and foremost, before you even start creating a mask or really selection, you're going to see what this tool does is it creates a selection more than anything. You can go ahead and select a different font. You can select a weight for the font or a style, you know, thin, book, light, bold, you know, regular, whatever you want. You can set a size, an anti-aliasing setting. I'm just going to stick with smooth. I'm going to kind of do what I have here. Don't worry about foreground color. It's not really going to matter in this case. We're going to go ahead and just add, uh, add something here. We're going to say African gray. All right, and you can see it's this red ruby overlay, which is typically associated with masking and alpha channels and things like that in Photoshop. I'm going to hit the check icon to commit the change, and sure enough, I don't get text, I get the marching ants. I get a selection. So we can use this selection then as a mask. Well, I'm going to deselect by going select, deselect, and I'm going to do something else. I'm going to create a new layer here, and on this layer, I'm going to go filter, render, uh, clouds, and just throw some clouds into play here. Now I'm going to grab that same type of mask tool, uh, and I'm going to type the word African gray, period. I'm going to highlight the type. Let's say I want to adjust, and I need the size to be even bigger. Let's go like 800. All right, so you can, it's massive. Go ahead and hit the check icon, and you can see now our, our selection's not even fully on, on the Photoshop document. Well, how do we move the selection? You can't move the selection with this tool. What you need to do is grab like your rectangular marquee tool or the lasso tool. It doesn't matter. Any of these sort of selection creation tools and just make sure the create new selection icon is uh, what you have selected in the control bar here. Move your cursor within somewhere on the inside of your selection and you can just drag your selection uh, wherever you like. So I'm going to place it in what feels like about the middle of the document. All right. Now that I have my selection uh, live and active, I can just go ahead and hit the create new mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And you can see we have a nice uh, mask that's been created. So despite what you probably think about this tool, it doesn't automatically create a mask as I would like. It really creates a selection and then you have to apply a mask to that. And even here, uh, now that I have a mask, I've got the mask, I select it. I can just say, you know, bird, right? Still the red text, hit check. It doesn't just add to the mask. It's just another selection. So... That, I guess, it would be nice if that changed. Oh, one other thing I should show you before I uh, let you go out the door. Notice when we type, we get those red letters. Let's say you hate the color red, and red doesn't work with the project you're working on. It's difficult to see. Whatever the case may be, you can change that by double-clicking on the quick mask icon here and changing the color of the overlay. It corresponds to the same thing as your quick mask overlay. So if we change this to, like, a bright green, okay, and hit OK again, and we can just say bird. You can see, sure enough, it's green, which in this case actually is much more visible uh, for us to see. So just know you can go ahead and change that right there in your quick mask options. I'm going to take mine back to red because that's just what I normally use. And for the type mask tool in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.